What's up guys, Justin Miller here. I just finished my second at the table lecture with Murphy's Magic and I brought my buddy, one of my dear brothers, Mr. Eric Ross with me. Did you enjoy the lecture? I loved it. Awesome. It man. was great. You I guys really are going to love it, man. Yeah. You guys are going to love it. A lot of magic, practical, uh, very, very simple things. All workers. This is all the stuff I do every day, wherever I go. I always have something on me and these are the routines that you're going to learn from that lecture. I don't use cards for this one. It's more of our imagination type thing. Um, if you did think of a card or had a card you'd like, which one would you think of? Five of diamonds. Five of diamonds, perfect. I think I have one of those here. Five of diamonds, good card. Chain on top. Well, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, Javier, what was the card that you would have thought of? Queen of hearts. Check this out, watch, say stop. Stop. Bam, queen of hearts, what's up? Wow. <laughs> Magic's fun. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you didn't want the Queen of Hearts, honestly, uh, what would you have picked another card? Jack of Spades. Bam, on the bottom. There it is. It's good. Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed. Thank you so much. It's good. Um, you could have, even the Five of Spades, you could have done that one if you wanted to. I think I know the problem, though. Uh, you think I'm crazy. <laughs> and I am a little bit, honestly. But I tell you what, this is the best part. You can actually, if we do this correctly, you can cause all the cards to print. Every single damn card. Except for one. Except for one. Yeah, I think you're holding on to it. What was it? Five of diamonds. Yeah, turn off. Five of diamonds. There it is. Yeah. That's beautiful. All right, with that, you're going to learn a three-phase sandwich routine. That's super visual, super fooling. You guys are really going to love this. It's Justin's take on the classic sandwich effect. And take out any card you like. It doesn't matter which one. I tell you what, before we do this, before we do this, let's put those over here. Yeah. So just put it back anywhere you'd like. Perfect. How far down? Good sound effects there. Yeah. How far down? Uh, how far down, roughly? Guess the I would say uh, twenty-five cards. I would say about twenty-five too. I think you're right. If we take the kings, place it right on top. This is really weird. Watch. If we just squeeze, it's a very strange thing. But you can mm. see one card jump in between. I know. I know. It's weird. Take a look. Turn it over. Show everybody. Shut my mouth. Ooh. And that signature is wonderful. Are you? Do you do prescriptions? <laughs> I'm excited. Um, Again, here's the move. It's a very simple move. You just drop them on top, see? And just wait a second. One card jumps in between those damn kings. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You did sign that card. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you what we'll do. Put it back in the middle. Maybe 28 cards now? 17. 17. But thank you. Did you see it happen? Did you see it no. jump back in between Ooh. the yeah, it's almost, it's almost unfair. It's almost unfair. Oh, it's great. It's almost That's unfair. Great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the three. We'll place it back in the center. Roughly how far down do you think that is? Guesstimation. That is... 31. 31. If you can see a jump, though, which is even crazier, you can see a jump right back over. In That's between. great. In visual. I've actually asked my brother Eric Ross to mention the next effect because I kind of want to... Oh my god, this it. thing is so great. You guys are going to love it. It is called Reactic, and it involves a tic-tac, a jumping tic-tac. Mentalism, you can do so much stuff with it. It's a visual thing. You guys are absolutely going to love this little thing. Oh god, it's so good. Prompt it too, right? It's so good. Yeah. It's a, dude, it's so <laughs> stupid good. You guys are going to love it. This tic-tac's magic. It's the only magic tic-tac. Put it back inside for me. Anybody take out a card, it doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah. No. Just one. Say stop. Place it back. The card. Do you remember the card? Do not forget this card. Super important, okay? Do you have any idea what the four cards are on top of the deck? Okay. I'm going to show them to you one at a time. Ten of clubs. I'm going to bury a card. The uh, king of spades. I'll bury a card. And the, uh, let's see, uh, nine of diamonds. We'll bury a card, and then the two of space. Fair enough? Now, don't tell me if your card is there. Obviously, your card's not your cards you have in your hand. But this Tic Tac, I've trained it so well that it responds to touch. And you touched that card, didn't you? Yeah? You remember touching that card? You remember your card? Like, think of your card, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Something happened right there. Something happened right there. That means your card wasn't the two of spades, it wasn't the king of spades, and it wasn't the nine diamonds. It must have been the ten of clubs. So it wasn't ten of clubs? I said it's a magic tic tac, right? No way. <laughs>
We'll see you next time right here at the table.